Hello, I just wanted to talk to you about web tools that you can use in your class, um, particularly those that focus on using the phone. Um, one of the things that I do a lot in my class is I'll have little uh, group discussions and I'll also have a chance for students to be able to ask me questions. Now, I can do that in my regular class by just having them talk. Uh, but one of the things I also do is I allow my students to have a chance to be able to uh, ask questions via their phones. And so what I'll do sometimes is I'll set up a little chat um, on the side of the screen or I'll have it on my tablet on the front of the class and then I'll have students they can actually pose questions right from their phones and be able, and I'll be able to check on them and they can respond to one another as well too. So how do I do that? Well there's a lot of different ways of doing that. I've used um, a lot of different tools but one of the quick easy tools it doesn't require any setup, it doesn't require any registration, it's free to use and no ads, and that is Takio. And what is Takio? Well, it's actually TLK.io, and it is useful for uh, on desktop computers, laptop computers, or phones, especially on phones. So I've got it right here on my phone right here right now. And all you do is just go to TLK.io, and then you'll see at the bottom it says channel and join. And to set up a channel, all you have to do is just hit join, and it will create a random channel with a bunch of letters and stuff. So I actually don't prefer to do that. What I actually do is I actually like to set up one that is easy for all my students to type in, but it's something that not the average person will go into. Because remember, um, now that I've set this up, I, I'm not going. This is still going to be public in the way that anybody who has that channel name would be able to go in. But to be honest, if it's something that's really obscure, there's very little chance I'm getting into. So anyway, I'm just going to use um, one here. I'm going to set up with uh, the channel is going to be Nathan Demo, and then I hit join, and you'll see that my name is already set up. That's because I've used this before, and so. I have Nathan Demo here set up and I can invite someone to come along and talk with me. So I've invited, um, we can see here Rick has now joined in, hey Rick, and um, now Rick is going to be able to um, pose questions and ask questions. But um, what also happens is I can help students directly with it so I can answer questions if they ask questions. Um, if they click on the name. Um, they can actually reply directly to the name. And so as others join in, like Mary, um, she'll be able to ask questions and I'll be able to reply to her directly by just clicking beside her name and then answering her directly. Um, so what about Takio? How does that work? Well, um, essentially what it is is because there's no registration, um, it'll keep going, but after about 10 minutes, anything that's over 10 minutes will go gray. And in fact, if I close the screen and come back in, those gray ones are gone. The only things that stay active are those that are less than 10 minutes. So it's great because it just kind of vapors, disappears into the ether. And so that's nice. We don't have to worry about um, things staying permanent or whatever. But on the other hand, you, if you put some information in there and you want to keep some of it, you best not to close the tab so that that way you can then copy that information over before you close it and say goodbye to that particular group. So um, I hope that's helpful to you. I actually do use it with my students to students as well too. So if I'll set up two, uh, two students who are working on something, they can actually um, not even be in the same room. They can be somewhere else and they can chat with each other as well too. So um, tell me what you think. Let me know of your thoughts about it. And have you used Takio before? If you have, where have you used it? Um, put some comments in the comment box or you can get a hold of me on my website or on Twitter and I'll be happy to answer any questions for you. Thank you.